All right, I'm standing here with Ted Nash, uh, Olympic gold uh, winner, who uh, just spoke with the team. Uh, first, can you just tell me, what did you want to convey uh, to the crew? Well, that's a big, big, a big request. That's a very good question and a very big question. My, my point is, is they have an opportunity here to be the best they think they can be because this is the championship. And the most important thing is that they come away knowing that they did their individual very best. It's not so much, and we want them all to win. We want everybody to win. But the point of it is, is that they feel that they've done this work as a team and that they, they really know what they're doing and they are going to do the very best that they can do. And it's why. It's because it's teamship. These are their brothers and their sisters for the rest of their lives. Mm -hmm. And they're going to never forget them. Never. I mean, I've been 50 years, I still know every single person I ever rode with, every person I ever went to the Olympics with, every person I coached in the Olympics, or the Pan Ams, or the Worlds, and, and so it never goes away. So the most important thing is that they feel that they've gained in perspective, in the breadth of all their experiences, that rowing was a big, big part of what they did. And with Tom Borer, it can't be anything but that, because that's how spectacular a guy he is. Well, obviously, this is his second year as the head coach here at BU, and you coached him previously. How um, great is it for BU to have him uh, uh, leading the team? It's beyond great. It's really, really important because to make anybody go up, I mean, I went to the University of Washington also, as well as BU and several other schools from the military. But in order to be at that level, in that league, you have to have leadership that allows you to think that you could be that good. And that's what Tom can give. Tom has like seven medals in eight years, or unbelievable dog, amount guys. of things, two Hard Olympics dog. and all of that. That's and he it. was our leader at Penn AC, where I coached for years and years. And I, I thought to myself, you know, wherever this guy goes, he's gonna take people with him. And wherever he goes, it's gonna be the place to be. And so that's kind of the way I see Tom Moore and what I think he's giving to be you. I think the Terriers are going to be better and better and better, not just as athletes, but as people. Because Tom has only one thought, what can I do for my guys? What can I do to make them better? What can I do to give them a better experience? And that's his philosophy. And then uh, finally, I, I know you were mentioning to the crew uh, some of the BU alums that you rode with while at BU. Uh, can you just finally kind of end on your thoughts of BU and your time there? I was in between services. I, I had, uh, I was both as a, like a Marine Reserve and I was in the Army and, and it was a very difficult time for me in my whole life. It was just craziness. But rowing is the thing that was stable. And my cousins, Art and John McKinley, rode at BU and several other of my family members and friends rode there. And they suggested that I go to BU if I was going to be assigned to the, to the area. So I started as a freshman again. I'm probably the only person on the planet that ever rode in two, you know, had two freshman years. But in any case, for some reason, legally I had it. And I thought to myself, this is a great sport. This is really something. I've done every other sport there is. I never had as much fun as this. And why? It's because everybody had to do their best or nobody won. Everybody had to be at their best or we couldn't beat those other people. And so I kind of just liked the whole idea of it. And I'd been a scholar before as a little high school kid, and I'd rode here and there and all around. But the coaches at BU at the time were wonderful, wonderful men. Uh, guys like Jim Nesworthy. I mean, my God, the guy gave his whole life to BU rowing. And I thought to myself, you know, if he can do this and allow a guy like me to wander in knowing I'm leaving early, uh, then, then this has got to be an okay place. So. My point was, is my two cousins won silver medals in the Olympics in Melbourne, and they used to te terrorize me with their medals. And it got me so mad that I remember yelling at Art and John McKinley, I'm going to win a gold, and then I'm going to hold it up and terrorize you. And they said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and of course, it worked out that way, so that was kind of cool. But no, BU was a wonderful place to be. And I went to several other schools, University of Mexico City in, in, in Mexico District Federal, and I also went to the University of Washington where I rode most of my international career, two Olympics further, and I'm not knocking anybody any other place, but BU rode uphill, 
no equipment, no boathouse like they have now. Nothing except one great coach and a whole bunch of guys that left. All right, well, thank you. I appreciate your time. Cheers.